welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky, and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. If you'd like to see all of the items I have emptied out over the last few weeks, then just keep on watching. And I have been waiting like almost 20 minutes at this point, and I feel like the vents just won't turn off. Like, because I've been waiting. So... I'm gonna apologize in advance for the events. I'm, I tried to wait it out, but the show must go on. So the first candle here is a single wick in the scent Pink Lemonade. This was, it was okay. It smells much better on cold, in my opinion, than it did when burning. It was okay. I probably would not repurchase this. And I don't even think I let it get all the way down. Like I, it got most of the way down. But I got, I just, I was just over it. So I was just like, we're done here. Nothing more to see. So I would not repurchase that one. The next one here is Bubbly Rosé. And I think this is my second Bubbly Rosé in the single wick. It's a pretty good candle in the single wick. I may have put this on the warmer. Like at some point. So, um... I tried pouring some of the wax into my actual wax warmer and I couldn't get a scent throw from it. So, um, and after so many times of putting this on my actual candle warmer, the scent just stops performing. So, um, I do like the bubbly rose in the scent in the single wick. Um, I do have a three wick, which I haven't burned yet, but this is actually a pretty good candle. Next here is the lemon and rosemary in the aromatherapy scent. This one I recall being rather light. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Um, so there's that. Next here is Firecracker Pop in the three. Well, they're all gonna be three wicks, so you can see that. Um, so here's what it looks like. Um, at some point, I just started putting this on the um candle warmer, and I tried because the wicks wouldn't stay burned, like all of them. So that's an issue I'm coming across in these three wicks for the mo well, not all of them, but some of them, the, all the wicks will not stay burned. So at some point when it gets low enough, I'll put it on to the candle warmer. But part of the issue with that is, um, the wicks, like the bottom parts, they'll like start to slide all around. So if I do at some point want to start burning the wicks again, like off of the warmer, but if I do want to start burning the wicks again, like I have to melt it down, move the things and hope they don't slide around. So I saw that to say this was a decent candle and I didn't necessarily love it. It was okay. And I will probably repurchase this sometime in the future. Next here is pink watermelon. And I think this is my second pink watermelon candle. So here you can see the wicks just do what they want to do. So they weren't all burning and it was just hard to like babysit. Like you see it got a little burned on this. Let me see if I could turn it around. It got a little burned there. Like, and I don't want to have to babysit candles, which is part of why I, at some point I give up and just sit them on the warmer but the two wicks that are like burned like on the bottom part those burned all the way down and that one taller wick it just wouldn't stay lit so i think this is my second one and i feel like i saw one of these on 75 percent off table but mm, i think i'm good on the pink watermelon candles for now but maybe next summer i would be interested in buying another one next here is iced lemon pound cake this is my favorite candle it burned pretty nicely. I think also with this one, at some point I did put it on the warmer, but it looks like it went all the way down to the metal part. So I really enjoy ice lemon pound cake. Um, I don't need to repurchase any lemon pound cake cans because I feel like I have like six more. So next here is hot fudge drizzle. Um, as you can, whether you may or may not be able to tell, um, it burned pretty decently, but towards the end, I don't know what happened. It just, it got like smoky and the wicks wouldn't stay lit. But part of me is actually contemplating putting this on the warmer because there's, there's a little bit of wax in there. I mean, 
But like I said, um, at some point, putting it on the warmer after so many times, the scent just doesn't perform anymore. But I may set this on the warmer tonight just to see if I can get some more scent out of this before I officially bid it adieu because Trash Day isn't for like another, wait, what's today? Next here is Pink Petal Tea Cake. This candle, I would say it burned pretty decently. Um, there was that one candle I had from Goose Creek that reminded me of my mom's perfume. And this reminds me of that candle. It's not as strong as that, but this reminds me of that perfume. And I just, I didn't enjoy it. This was, it was okay. Something I would not repurchase. Next here, I have Paris Cafe. This was another really nice candle that I did end up putting on the warmer. As you can see, like, on the warmer, those wicks start sliding around. That's how they get all the way, like, so far to the, the edge. But this smelled so good on the warmer. It smelled good lit. This was just a really nice candle. Really strong thrower. Um, I do like warming this or, like, having it lit with other foodie scents. So, um, definitely enjoyed that. So, I'm looking around. I didn't finish that candle. I thought it was here, but it's not finished yet. But I was warming this while I had the um, chocolate chip cookie one lit. And I also had another one from Ulta, Caramel something. Um, so, I had this lit at the same time as that. And it, they were, like, so strong together, but so good. Next here is Buttery Popcorn. And this one was okay. Wasn't a strong thrower, but... Smelling this now, I can smell that buttery popcorn, but it just, it doesn't perform as well when burning as it smells on cold. So I did pick up two, I took one back and you know, this for me would be a one and done. And as far as Paris Cafe, I will repurchase that. And I did pick that up in the blend, so I kinda have repurchased it. Um, next here is Berry Waffle Comb. And this one, smell really nice when burning but as you can see like the wicks do what they want to do so um at some point i just gave up on that third wick and let the other two burn all the way down i do have a backup to this and i may be good after i burn that one if i love it enough you know if it comes out next year then i will keep my eye open for it next here is ice dragon fruit tea this one was so strong um this i definitely got that lemonade and i was like why is it so citrusy completely missed the fact that i had that lemonade note but this one was really really strong and i think for this one it's cool but i'm probably gonna be have to be a one and done for this the next candle here is toasted pineapple marshmallow this one mm, and it still smells interesting now it's kind of smelling like soft like fluffy pineapple but while burning, it just smelled like burning wicks, and I didn't like that. So this one for me is just gonna have to be a one and done. And the last candle that I can see, unless there's some in this bag, is this red, white, and blue cake. This candle I actually really did enjoy. I was able to get whiffs of that white cake. It smelled more so like the berries, but I was still able to get some whiffs of that cake, and it smelled so good. So. I do have a backup to this and I can't, I'll probably hoard that for a little while while I burn other things in the meantime, but I'm, I definitely have a backup to this. Next, I feel like a box of these should have been in each of the last few empties videos, but somehow they keep getting missed. Um, and that is, that are these, the little pull-ups that we have all been using. Um, listen, they work, so I'm gonna keep buying them. So this is a con gonna be a continued repurchase for me as long as I can find them. Next here, I have some laundry detergent. This is my Tide Hygienic Clean. I don't know why I run through these laundry detergents so fast. Um, but yeah, this will be a continued repurchase. Maybe not always the same like scent or whatever, but I love um, the Tide detergent. So now let's get into my bag. Um, so first, this item isn't actually empty. I had just hauled these, but I wanted to talk about these. And this is the Evolve Shake in the um, double chocolate flavor. I recall these tasting a lot better three years ago. So I don't know if they have reformulated or what, but I've also never had the du a double chocolate flavor in Evolve. I think I pretty much only had vanilla. Um, 
I'm not a huge fan of the way this tastes on its own. Now, mixing it into my iced coffee with a splash of some flavored syrup is just fine. Like, I don't really notice it. But I will say I may keep my eye open for a vanilla one and try that to give it a second chance. But other than that, I don't know if I will revisit the Evolve Shakes again because the double chocolate flavor was just not giving what I was hoping it would have gave. Next here are some in-wash scent boosters from the Target brand. Love these continued repurchase. I think I have two now, maybe one and a half because I do have to do some laundry. But yes, continue repurchase. I absolutely enjoy these. Next here are some Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. This was a four pack. I didn't like this particular brand because I felt like they were falling apart while using them. So I would not repurchase this brand, but I finally found that um, plastic bin of them that Target sells. So I did pick those up um, not too long ago. So those will be repurchased. Not these Mr. Clean ones because I find that these um, don't hold their shape very well. Next here's another in-wash scent booster. So that makes um, two of these empty. And I feel like I can get maybe six loads out of one of these. So next is this Dove purifying hand soap that was picked up at Ollie's. Um, this was, you know, pretty decent. I don't need to repurchase any hand soaps anytime soon because I just hauled a ton from Bath & Body Works. But this was pretty good. And I feel like I have another one of these. So I'm good on hand soaps for a while. Next, this is a Project Use It Up item. And this is my Coco Colada scrub from Tree Hut. I actually, well, I absolutely, I want to say actually, but my, I absolutely enjoyed this. Um, it's a nice soft scent that I feel like you could use with so many different like scent ru routines like when you're doing your shower routines so this I would repurchase well down the line because I have a ton okay a ton of scrubs to get through but this I would repurchase and I'm not sure if you're able to hear the background but um today is the 4th of July and there are some fireworks happening not too far from the house. Next here is a Febreze in the scent Ember. This smells really good. It's a nice juicy orangey scent. So I actually really like this and I would repurchase this. Next here is a body cream in the scent Sparkling Peach Sangria. I have been using this as a um, in shower lotion because I just found that I wasn't really feeling the cream after all. Like the spray is okay, um, but the cream, I just wasn't necessarily in love with it. Um, so I just opted to use it as an in-shower um, cream and I got right on through it. So, and if I ever saw this again, I would not purchase. <laughs> I think I'm one and done for that one. Next is a shower gel from Goose Creek in the scent Dragon Fruit Splash. This is a nice juicy, fruity, tropical um, scent for sure. Y'all know how I feel about Goose Creek right around now. So it's probably going to be a strong no as far as a repurchase. But this smells really good. And I don't need, I don't need any more body washes anyways. Next is my Brazilian Crush Fragrance Mist. I finally finished this after having it for eons. I would repurchase this sometime in the future. I don't know when because the cream I have, there's still some in there, but I don't know how much longer I'm, I'm gonna have it before it's empty. So I don't really see the need to run out and grab another one of these. Um, So maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just wait until the Sephora VAB sale in the fall to revisit repurchasing one of these. So there's that. Next here is some Aquaphor healing ointment. I use this on my feet. So there's that. Um, I would repurchase, but right now I'm using the Taraji P. Henson body, body butter that looks more like Vaseline. So that's what I'm currently using. Um, I think I have some actual Vaseline, but if I need to buy some Aquaphor in the future after I run out of those products, then probably. Next here are some vitamin gummies. This is the Nature Made Multi and Omega-3 for her. These were decent. Um, 
I haven't noticed much of a difference since I stopped using these. So I probably wouldn't repurchase these. Um, I don't know. I need to find a new gummy because, listen, me and pills, we just don't vibe. So um, I will be looking out for some other kind of um, multivitamin gummies to take. If I can't find any, then I probably would just, you know, circle back to these. Next, I have some soap. And these are the Dove Antibacterial Soap Bars. So I've got three of these. I feel like I had one in my last empties video because I'm on my last one. And I have recently hauled some um, Dove White Bars. So I have plenty of those to last me for a good little while. Next, I have some Equate Flushable Wipes. I feel like there's something on there. I don't know what it is. We're just gonna move on. Um, I have another pack of those out and open, so I don't need any right now. But um, once those are done, then I could um, repurchase some more flushable wipes. Next here, I have some wax melts in the scent Ember. I don't know what that is on there. It's probably some wax. These I absolutely enjoyed and I would repurchase. Next, I have some peppermint Castile soap continued repurchase for me i have since found the citrus scent and i have i actually really like that as well i think i prefer the pepper one in my hair than the citrus because i don't really feel that tangle in the citrus but um i will definitely repurchase this specific scent as well and citrus next here is a glade candle in the scent citrus and shine so it's a single wick and the single wick flame burns really high, unfortunately for these um, candles. That's what it's called. Um, it was it was a decent candle. I think I'm good, you know, one and done. You know, it was good for what it was. Next here is a raspberries and whipped vanilla. And I just knew I did not enjoy this candle the first time around. So I don't know why I thought I would enjoy it the second time. Um, So it smells okay on cold. I don't like the way this candle smells when burning. I would not repurchase this candle ever again. Next here, I have a body cream in the scent Perfect Peony. Oh, it's back here. <laughs> so same deal for this one as with um, the Peach Sangria one. I use this as an in-shower lotion. This one is from 2020. And this one started to turn. So this was the first one I started using as an in-shower lotion. And um, I'm just glad to have this out of my collection. Um, I think I did exchange the mist for this a while ago. Like, it's a decent scent. I don't hate it. I It's just not something that I see myself continually reaching for. Even though I think it goes really decently with um, Versace um, Dylan Blue. But I don't even have... I may have that in the travel size. But still, it's not, like, enough for me to feel like I need a full set to this. So, I say all that to say, glad it's gone. I will not be repurchasing next i finished some brad's apple cider vinegar finally literally it was like literally a tablespoon left that had been sitting around here and i'm glad that it's finally gone i do have another bottle around here somewhere that i need to find so i can break out and start using next in here is another dove bar this is in the sensitive skin one i would repurchase this i currently have um a pack of white bars, so i don't need to buy any soap but I, it's something that i would repurchase Next is a scrub in the Cocoa Vanilla. Love this scent so much. Ugh. This I would repurchase. Next, I have this um, Johnson's Oil Gel. This I was, you know, using on my skin like after the shower, on my feet. I actually really enjoy this. Um, I, I will repurchase this. Next, I have a hand cream in Summer Melody. Nice juicy scent. I don't need any more hand creams, okay? I don't need no more hand creams. Next, I finished two Sephora pencils for my brows. This is number 11, which is Ebony. Continued repurchase for me. I have a few left that I haven't um, broken out yet. So I don't need to buy any right now, per se. And hopefully they last me until the next VIB sale because I think I have I think I have four of these left that are not open and I just broke one open a couple days ago so we'll see how long those last me. Next I have these room sprays that I have been just <laughs> like using excessively. The first one is Snowflakes and Citrus. This was a cool citrus scent. I think I could be one and done with that. Maybe 
maybe I could buy another one in the future, but it was okay. Next is blackberries and basil. I don't like the scent. Will not repurchase. Um, next here is pure wonder. This was, you know, okay. Um, I would probably not repurchase this in the pure wonder scent, but it was okay. It's pretty decent in the car as well, but it just doesn't last very long. And the last one here is pink watermelon. So this one smelled good. I may consider repurchasing pink watermelon in the future. So this one did smell really nice. Next here is a wallflower that has reinvigorated my faith in wallflowers. And that is Cozy Linen. I have repurchased some of these. So I do have some um, backup to Cozy Linen. It's a nice linen-y scent. Fresh laundry smells amazing. And last but not least, I have the car refills. So um i don't know what's what so there should be two raspberry tangerines so there there should be two of these raspberry tangerines probably when we purchased them couldn't really smell them um there are probably four to six snowy peach berries sitting here i would not repurchase these anymore i do have a couple left i picked up so many last year when they had that sale where they were a dollar each um they just they just don't perform that well in my opinion um and currently in my car i have two renew and refresh and this just smells like a fresh clean scent and i have two atlantic which this is actually more of a masculine scent that you know, i didn't i didn't realize that until i had opened it um so these are okay um i'm not sure if i'll repurchase either of these in the future like once i take them out of the car but other than that, I think so far my favorite car scent has been strawberry pound cake. It's been the strongest. It's been the only one I, I can actually smell um, long term in the car. Maybe even Cactus Blossom performed pretty okay. But other than that, all these other car refills that I've been using, they haven't been, you know, really hitting. So um, I probably won't be repurchasing any of these scents that I mentioned here today, like that are actually here. I'd repurchase strawberry pound cake, but that's not in here, so. So that is everything that I have emptied out over the last few weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.